Hey guys, it's Edible Fruits here, and today I have some insane news about Counter Strike Global Offensive. If you play this game a lot, like I do, then you know this is going to be a huge update. If you follow them on Reddit, or follow the developers on Reddit, or just follow the subreddit, which I'll have a link down in the description, you will know this update was coming out, and it's called the Arms Deal Update. It is a huge update. It brings in so many new things that I am happy with. Uh, it was a little skeptical when this update was coming out, because they thought they were going to make Counter-Strike Global Offensive, a possible free-to-play game, which was really going to ruin the community, sadly. I know free-to-play Counter-Strike would be kind of cool for some people, but to the serious members right now, it would really ruin the game for us. So, I'll go ahead and jump into the details. So, the first thing we really have, the main thing that they've done is put in a ton of new and amazing looking skins. So, there's all kinds of different skins. There's Office skins, there's Parker's Assault, there's Inferno. There's all kinds of different amazing looking skins that make your guns look cool. And each pack costs, open up one of these basic boxes that you get through drops, the key costs 250 so it's very affordable. And, of course, they all look beautiful. I have a couple screenshots on screen now. And, I mean, that's just really sick. So, the second thing, which I will have some gameplay of each gun right now, the silenced weapons. The M4, A1, if you played Counter-Strike Source or any of the other Counter-Strikes, you knew that the M4 was a silenced weapon. So, they brought it back. They put the M4 as a silenced weapon. And you can either, as you can watch me on screen now, go into you can select which one you would like to use still so you can go into your rifles and select if you'd rather use the other m4a1 um right now the m4a1 s is relatively unpowerful suppressor really lowers the power on the m4 so it's and the ammo capacity is another thing it's only got 60 rounds total that you can use in 20 rounds in your clip so it's very much decreased and it's quite annoying Secondly, they brought back the USP silenced. The USP silenced is actually an upgrade of the P2000 even when it's suppressed. It is insanely accurate. It always fires really nice. It's really pretty. So, I mean, nothing's wrong with the USPS. Continue using that one. So, um, but the suppressors on both guns lower the power. So, but it is always good to start off in a round with the suppressor. I recommend once the first shots have been fired, though, if it's on your side, definitely drop it. Take off the suppressor by just right-clicking, and it'll save you a lot of time of having to spray your enemy. Uh, it, it gets better headshots and things like that. So the third main thing we have is the confirmed kills kind of slot thing that they brought. It's more of a weapon camo. So it basically will have the numbers on the thing, how many kills you've gotten with that weapon. It looks really sick, and yeah, so... I might put in a couple clips after this of me playing with the M4, getting some decent kills or whatever. So, I mean, thank you guys so much for watching, and I mean, I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.